Welcome to Kids Invent Stuff! Kids Invent Stuff. So this month we're building six-year-old Xander's robot trolley. It's a trolley with robotic arms that grabs your shopping for you. To build Xander's invention, we're going to use a supermarket trolley that we can motorise and drive about. We'll need a battery to power it, and we're going to build some motorised arms that can reach and grab items on the supermarket shelves. So to motorise Xander's trolley, we've got one of these things. This is an electric golf trolley, and we used one of them before when we built Dinner Dan, our household robot, and we're going to mount this on the trolley so the whole thing can drive along. <laughs> battery that's going to power everything. So this is the remote control trolley that Ruth sat in and I have the remote control. What could possibly go wrong? We often forget how easy it is to reach up and take something off a shelf. Now to build a machine that does that, now that's a little bit more tricky. So we've got some grabby things that we want to try out to see what works well for picking up a can off a shelf. Um, Ruth, do you want to go first? This is designed for picking up litter and stuff, and it's got its good rubber grippy bits on it. That does work pretty well. Can I put it in the trolley? Yeah, Did yeah, it? go Did for it. it. Ah! I do have a slight question yep. now I'm sat in here. Um, there isn't actually that much space. Where are we going to put two robot arms? Yeah, we are. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? I'm also a bit aware of like, if we have two either side, yep. you're just going to like cause havoc as you drive just, down. Just like knock people out yeah. as you drive down the, the supermarket. Do you know what actually? He sat here, yep. like one in the middle. John. So we're going to build one big long arm that can reach out either side of the trolley and to make the thing turn we're going to use this windscreen wiper motor. So this is the motor in a windscreen wiper that allows the thing to move backwards and forwards and we're going to mount it somewhere around here so we can steer the arm out either side of the trolley and we've got this thing, this is a linear actuator, so one of these motors that pushes and pulls and we're going to use this so we can extend the arm to reach out onto the shelf and then we've got some of these servo motors so these are pretty strong motors that we can control quite precisely and we're going to use these for the joints, so the parts in the arm that bend and that will allow us to flex the arms and reach out and again grab those things off the shelf and hopefully put them in the trolley. So our windscreen motor is going to be mounted and sit here and our linear actuator is going to sit on the top of there and be mounted here. So we've mounted two servo motors on our robot arm. We've got one that goes up and down and one that lets us angle the direction of it. And the next job is to mount our grabby arm thingy on top of the servo. Xander's robot trolley. And all that's left to do now is to take it to the supermarket, drive it around and grab some stuff off the shelves. So join us next week and we'll be testing Xander's invention. Bye! Bye. Kids invent stuff. You can see some of the crazy stuff we've built here and subscribe to our channel here.